Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Uh, hit the like button and please subscribe. It does help my channel. Or just come to visit. That is fine with me. I don't do uh, a regular video every single day. Uh, sometimes I can and then sometimes I can't. Because um, I have my hands full here. So, but um, I haven't been on for a few days now. And uh, I've still been working behind the scenes, though, getting a lot of information and reading a lot of stuff, uh, researching and making sure that uh, I'm understanding what I'm reading, you know, because if I'm going to relay it to you folks, to my, uh, my subscribers and my uh, friends that are coming in just to visit, I just want you to understand what I'm reading and trying to relay to you. And some of this uh, information you've probably already read. Uh, like I said, I'm, a, I'm about uh, a week behind, just about. But um, I, I'm hoping and praying everybody had a great Thanksgiving Day with family, children, friends, whatever. The shape that we're in right now, our country, um, it's pretty hard to stay positive. But when you got your loved ones around you, it helps. My kids... Uh, were planning on coming, but they couldn't make it. They couldn't afford the gas from Indiana. And that's truly understandable, you know, on my part. I don't want them spending money that's going to cause them havoc when they get back home and can't pay their bills. They're buying a house, and um, they're living together. My daughter, uh, Trish, and her daughter, Brianna, and their children... They're living together just to split the house payment, the utility payments, car payments, car insurance, oh, on and on and on. But it takes so much to try to just to live. And we're the richest country supposed to be in the world, but we're not anymore, people. We're not anymore. And I think you know that as well as I do. And I ran across this one right here. And uh, depression, I try to urge people to find something to do to keep from going into depression. But you know what? It's getting pretty hard. And this last week has been kind of depressive. Because the more I research, the more I read, the more it's, it's putting us down, 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 down. So I'm trying to stay level. I really am. But boy, is it hard. I bet it is for you too. Yep, I bet it is for all of you, especially mothers and fathers got uh, children going to school, maybe a baby on the way, fighting just to keep a roof over their heads, food in the in their house. Your EBTs, yes, right. That's good, you know. <clears throat> but EBT is not money. EBTs don't pay bills. They don't make the house payments, the uh, house insurance, uh, taxes on the land, you know, the car taxes, car license, utilities, water bill. EBT don't pay for that stuff. We're being pacified, yes, with EBTs. That's wonderful. At least we get to eat. But in an early video, when I first started out, and this is the end of my third month, and I made the comment, oh, I'll have uh, EBT food. Yes, I will. I'll be sitting on the curb in front of my house I used to live in and eat my food. Because I just read here today, earlier this afternoon. I better get ready. Because if they cut Social Security off, they're wanting to cut it off. Now, some will say, no, it's good until... Uh, 2034, 2036, something like that, you know. Then the, the more come on, though, that going against that, saying Biden wants to knock it off. And listen to this. Biden confirms plans to destroy American energy production. Joe Biden made his message clear as the country prepared for the midterm elections this week. That was, you know, midterm elections. That was a couple weeks ago, three weeks ago. 
His administration is committed to making energy more expensive and further crippling American production. So you probably all have read this or heard it through one of his speeches. I, I, I probably should have went and listened, but I didn't. You know, I want to see it wrote or written or printed or typed, you know, faxed, whatever. I, I want to see the words. But I don't doubt that he's not going to do this. And then I seen another article uh, where they're really getting close to his son. And Biden is still denying he didn't have anything to do with his son's uh, transactions in China or any other country. He's lying. He is a liar. During a campaign rally for fellow Democrats in California last Friday, Biden said he will be shutting these coal plants, coal, C-O-A-L, coal plants down all across America and having wind and solar. He doubled down on the unconvincing talking point that it is somehow less expensive to generate electricity using wind and solar power. Well, what's this like, the, uh, the Green Deal? Where people are supposed to have electric cars and they get the electric cars and every 250 to 300 miles they got to stop and charge them back up again? Boy, I'd hate to go on a 2,000 mile trip and do that crap, wouldn't you? Oh, well, we're going to put stations up all over the United States of America. And how much is that going to cost and who's going to fucking pay for it? Yeah. Well, excuse me. I'm getting upset. Like I said, it's been a bad week for me. Bad week. Not only things here at home have gone uh, <laughs> belly up, you might say. But yes, it's, it's not been a good week. I, I was disappointed my kids couldn't come. But then again, I was glad because they, they need to save their money. Every penny they can muster up, they need to put away. And stack up on food. Another deal that I just put in another video before this one. Uh, they're, they're just right down strong urging. You better stockpile up on groceries. No matter what you got to do. You better get your groceries lined up. And hopefully you'll have a house to live in to eat. That's how bad it's getting. And like I said before in other videos. These next two years. Oh my God I hate to see them. I dread to see them. Then I read where they are taking up a petition or something to uh, youst him out of presidency. Get him out. But then who are we stuck with? Well, we don't have to worry about Pelosi. But Kamala Harris? Oh, please. Oh, my God. It is instructive that Biden made those remarks in California, the state that by far leads the nation in clean energy production and regulations. The Golden State has been plagued with rolling blackouts and electric bills that run about double the U.S. average. Only Alaska, New York, Hawaii have higher average energy costs. The current average price of a gallon of gas in California sits at $5.45 a gallon. About 1.60 cents, $1.00 and 60 cents above the national average. The average price in Georgia is $3.13. Well, that's still high. Better than five, but still high. Biden's remarks drew sharp criticism from the fellow Democrat Senator Joe Manchin. Energy production in West Virginia's top industry has Manchin's constituents are certain to continue to suffer as a result of the Biden's administration's commitment to ending domestic energy production from coal, natural gas, and crude oil. It's like, it's like nobody can stop him. They talk about it, but why isn't something being done? Where's that petition to get him out of office? Is that going to go on for the next two years? Oh, God, who knows what might happen? It's got to be done now. Get his butt out. As often happens, the White House took steps to walk back Biden's rhetoric 
Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre said that Biden's remarks yesterday have been twisted to suggest a meaning that was not intended. Ugh. He regrets it if anyone hearing these remarks took offense. Oh, well, geez. Why would we take offense? You're wrecking our country, Biden. Hmm. She did not explain how Biden's clear statements were twisted, nor did she offer any alternative context for what he said. No, she can't. Might jeopardize her job. We're not stupid. Why do they play us for stupid? We are not stupid. Under any interpretation, Biden's statements must have been seen as consistent, consistent with a major plank in the Democratic Party's platform. Democrats are focused on a transition they plan to force on the economy that will make all fossil fuels prohibitively expensive for Americans. <clears throat> Biden removed all doubt. <clears throat> Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm upset. I can't help it. And I've been reading this stuff all week. You know? And it's, it's not good. It's not getting any better. And it's not going to. No, it's not. Biden removed all doubt about the administration's position during a latter rally in New York over the weekend in support of Governor Kathy Hochul. When a member of the audience called Biden out for plans to end American energy production, Biden directly responded, No more drilling. There is no more drilling. I haven't formed any new drilling. Regardless of the outcome of this week's elections, Biden intends to use the remainder of his time in office to promote his agenda of energy and, uh, dependence on hostile nations. He will travel with climate and envoy John Kerry to Egypt for an international climate change event. Oh boy. Oh boy. That gather, gathering is set to focus on curtailing ag agricultural advances that have saved untold millions from hunger and restricting first world use of air conditioning. You know, it's just like Pelosi. Whatever she got herself into, not, uh, or what do I want to say, under underbidding in the stock market, which she wasn't supposed to be doing, but she got by with it. She didn't get a penalty for that. And Biden, where's his penalties? And they're still investigating his son. Now, how long is that going to take? 10, 20 years? Until maybe they do find something. They could be dead by then. And they still won't pay the price for what they're doing to our country. What they want to do to our country. In two years, they can do it to our country. It says here the United Kingdom is facing serious problems. House Republicans promised to investigate Hunter Biden after taking minority, majority of something or rather. I'm just reading the lines right here. It doesn't matter. Musk asked Twitter users whether to reinstate President Trump. You know, it's like in the last video, it, it made a statement, and I read it. This would never have happened. Never. If Trump had stayed president. That was an all, I don't care. I don't give a damn. That was all put up. Somebody masterminded that idea to get Biden to be president and go against Trump and using the uh, January 6th against Trump. And he had warned Pelosi, you better get the National Guard ready. I just got a gut feeling. Three days. Three days beforehand. And Pelosi didn't do damn thing about it. 
I wanted to say, a, oh, I wanted to say a naughty word. Oh, I did so want to say a naughty word. And she just flipped it off. And now he's blamed for what went on January 6th. These people that do these uh, TV promotions, when they're running for a seat or a presidency or whatever, they have a right to speak on their mind what's on their mind. It's freedom of speech, which we're losing. We're losing freedom of speech. We're losing everything. Who's pushing Biden to do all this stuff to destroy the country he's even living in? If he don't like America and he wants to destroy it, he needs to get his butt out of it. I'm done. I gotta take a break. I'll be back later. God love you all.